can China rise peacefully? And the simple answer is yes. I think the answer is no. Because one point I emphasize in my book as China One is that we are entering a new era of world history. 200 years of Western domination of world history is coming to an end. And we're returning to the norm of the first 1800 years, from the year one to the year 1820. Our two largest economies were always those of China and India. So we're going back to a different world. And remember that when China was dominant, uh, the number one power for most of 1800 years, China didn't conquer the world. China didn't go out like the British, the, the French, uh, the Dutch and the Spanish conquering colonies all over the world. Indeed, in the, I believe in the 15th century, they had the largest, most powerful navy under Emperor Cheng He. They went around the world. They didn't conquer any countries. So I think that's a very critical point to bear in mind with just one minor qualification. And this is an important for an Australian audience. As China is rising and returning, it's important that we try to work with China rather than try to provoke China. And that's why managing the rise of China uh, is very critical. The second question is, uh, can China win? And the question is, win what? So clearly, if you mean in terms of can China become the world's largest economy, uh, I can confidently say yes. And you know, all that the Chinese have to do is achieve half the per capita income of the United States, and they will have an economy twice the size of the United States. Simple mathematics. But of course, if, the, if, if by can China win, do you mean that China will step in and take over the role of the United States and try and dominate the world? Uh, I don't think China wants to do that. And as, as John Mearsheimer, who's going to speak next, has brilliantly documented in his book, The Great Delusion, America fought a lot of unnecessary wars in the Middle East and elsewhere. This is something that China, I'm reasonably confident, is not interested in doing. It wants to focus on making China a great power, but not take over America's role in terms of managing the world. I have very different views on these two questions than Kishore does. With regard to the question of whether, can, whether China can rise peacefully, I think the answer is no. My basic view is that what China is going to do as it continues to rise economically is that it's gonna translate that economic might into military might, and it's gonna to try to dominate Asia the way the United States dominates the Western Hemisphere. It's going to try to become a regional hegemon, the way the United States is a regional hegemon here in the Western Hemisphere. My view is that China would be crazy not to try to dominate Asia, because in a world where there is no policeman, no night watchman, it makes eminently good sense for a state to want to completely dominate its region. So I think that China will set out to do that. Of course, the United States does not tolerate peer competitors. The United States wants to remain the only regional hegemon in the world, and it therefore will go to great lengths to prevent China from dominating Asia. And the end result will be that you'll get this intense security competition with a serious chance of war. With regard to the second question, we're very early in this competition. So it is hard to predict who's ultimately going to prevail. I think when you read Kishore's excellent book and you listen to him over the years, he thinks that the Chinese have the wind behind their back and that the United States is kind of like a dinosaur. Uh, I would not bet on that, Kishore. If I had to bet, I'd bet on the United States. The United States has taken on four potential peer competitors in its history. Imperial Germany, Imperial Japan, Nazi Germany, and the Soviet Union. The United States played a key role in putting all four countries, all four of those countries, on the scrap heap of history. The United States will go to great lengths to compete with China and to prevent it from dominating Asia. And when you look at uh, the demographics of China and the United States, and you look at the economies of the two countries, 
I think that the United States is in better shape than China is. And for that reason, if I had to bet, I'd bet on the United States. Well, John, thank you so much for that. And as you can tell here, John Mearsheimer and Kishore Mahbubani clearly take different views on this question about whether China can rise peacefully and uh, whether it's on the pro- in the process of uh, re- replacing America in terms of primacy in East Asia.